That was Marcel and Ruth Preston with Come Like a Fire. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, it's time for us to go to prayer. So it's just a quick reminder that whether your need is physical, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, financial, or family, I want you to know today that God can do exceedingly, abundantly, beyond what we're able to ask or even imagine. So Lord, thank you today for that unlimited power that is available to us today. In fact, Paul reminds us in Romans 8, 11, it is, of course, resurrection power. So thank you for that today. With that thought in mind, Lord, whatever we are facing today, Lord, there's a wonderful promise, and that is that, Lord, of course, you are going to be with us every step of the way. Jesus made that very clear in Matthew chapter 28, verse number 20. He says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Lord, thank you for that today. And thank you for the fact that, Lord, no matter where we find ourselves today, you have already been there, and you've already uh, orchestrated the events and situations, Lord, to our advantage. With that thought in mind, Lord, thank you for your healing touch. You are, of course, our great physician. And in this moment, Lord, no matter what we're facing in any area of our lives, you are our healer. Thank you for that today. Also, thank you, Lord, today for the fact that you are our provider. You are Jehovah Jireh. That means that no matter what the need is today, oh God, there are some wonderful riches in glory that can be distributed and dispersed into our situation. And Lord, we actually don't have to be anxious. Paul tells us, he says, be anxious for nothing, but with prayer and supplication, let your requests known to God. So that's what we're doing. We're letting you know, Lord, hey, this is what's going on in our life situation. And we know that you have the answer. So Lord, thank you for that today. Also as well, Lord, we thank you for the wonderful promise of Acts 16, 31, that says not only are we going to be saved, but our household as well. Again, we pray for divine intervention in the lives of our family and friends today as well. And Lord, throughout this day, let us look for opportunities. And uh, also as well, Lord, moments where we can encourage, love, and be kind to those around us today. Father, we know that you're going to bring people across our path today if we interact and <laughs> decide to go out. Father, today, let us be looking, like it says in Psalm 37, 23, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. So Lord, we're just going to simply ask you today to order our steps and help us to recognize that, Lord, we are your ambassadors in our world. That's what we are. Let us be your hands and feet, your mouth, and let us do it, Lord, with grace and love. And that's something that, Lord, we always need. So, Lord, we just want to thank you for all of these things. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen.